hates the paper paper city. So do I. So do I. Especially when they punish me for uh, the, my enemies having attacked me. I'm not even the aggressor, for Christ's sake. And it's like, you will be excommunicated unless you bend over backwards for the church. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck you. They attack me. They're now attacking me. And they fucking ask for it. England's getting a really bad rep. <laughs> it's just like, slowly everyone's going to start hating us. They already kind of do. Alright, anyway. Uh, I do believe it's time for the next turn. See what the fucking moors get up to. But it's probably not good for us, really. Yes, sire. We can go no further. All right, today, excellent. Sire. The Moors are likely going to attack that castle of ours, unfortunately. And those idiots are going to stop outside of that, and we'll be defeated next turn. <laughs> I might rename this castle that Leon place. Uh, fucking Harold's got one. His son doesn't have a castle name after him, however, so I think we'll give his son that one. Harold Hall and Nigel Hall, or something. I actually think this one's better than the previous one. Okay, the Moors' turns comes up. See what the fuck they do. Sending diplomats around the place, because they're douchebags. Hmm? They're not sieging with that army. They're going to siege with... No, they're leaving. Okay. Maybe they want peace. Nope. That army doesn't want peace. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like we're ever going to have peace with the church until we burn Rome to the ground. <laughs> Basically, once we remove the papacy... That will be when we have peace, once they're dead. And not before. The mountains blow in the winds like leaves. Or in this case, when the cardinals blow in the wind like leaves. Senior Duke is dead. The King of Aragon's dead. The Finger Duke's dead. Henry has passed. You've been reconciled. God, good news indeed. The Pope has sent an emissary to notify his willingness to reconcile his differences with you and your people. Signed for being a great source of relief. Blah, 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 blah. New king, new, uh... New king, new fucking relations for the church, I suppose. And he's named his brother as, uh... High Lord Marshal as well. And Duke Welron. And he actually stands to be a decent general, this guy. And, uh... A kind one at that, since he's going to be inheriting. He's got excellent authority. Everyone's friend. English blood. He's still cowardly. Not exactly a great commander. Loaves, the papacy, alcoholic. Wife is Danish. Luton, mean with money, personal loss. Yeah, He's not exactly the best of commanders, but his son is pretty decent. And he's got a... Uh, he's got a second son as well, should he fail to inherit... Okay, here is where I don't mind obeying the uh, the Pope's decrees. Now that I hold this region here, I don't mind not killing everyone. I would rather just focus on the Moors. If I can get peace with everyone else, I'm perfectly chill just to uh, be friendly with the Moors. Let's see if we can get... Uh... Alright, we'll go all out. You can have five grand. How's that, guys? Yeah? How could we refuse this wonderful offer? Thank you for your time. It was useful. Yeah, they've gone back up though. Very good. And I shall send... Uh, where is he? My other person. My other diplomat. There he is. My lord. Speaking. Did you expect us to be Would you like peace? Because I'm cool with peace. I'll even give you five grand for peace. Nope. They completely refuse to cooperate. Farewell, noble one. 
Yes, my lord. Suit yourself. All right. We'll send this diplomat yes, down to the Papal States, and then we can make I them our friend. Tomorrow, Bribe them with money. Like any fucking uh, religious organization, they can all be bribed with lots of money. God will see justice served in our battles. But mind you, I might just keep farming the uh, the Italian forces and releasing them every time, and then obeying the Pope's orders when he tells me to, and then they'll start to like me more. But yeah, new king. Uh, and new relations with the Pope, it seems. King Henry the Chivalrous. He wasn't exactly chivalrous in the field of battle, but he did have the, uh, like, chivalry and rulership and everything. But yep, we shall see. Um, I do believe we'll move some crap off camera and likely rename this castle into, uh, after Nagel, who's a badass. If not the most feared and horrible general that you'd ever come across. But uh, still, he's, he's pretty badass. Anyway, yeah, be right back. Alright guys, we've moved all of our shit, basically just repairing uh, all of our troops and rebuilding in this. It may be a bit risky leaving this place so loosely defended, but um, yeah, the Moors are my major concern right now, and hopefully we've beaten the crap out of the Italians enough for them to not bother too much with us. But uh, I renamed that place after his son, so Harold and the girls now both got one to uh, call their own. They shall go down in the history. But the prince and the king himself, the king's leading the shit army while the prince leads the main one, but we've got full stack and a half to push on the moors. More troops coming up from up top as well. Uh, Nottingham almost has a full stack inside of it. More troops coming down from Winchester, just basically cannon fodder troops below. So just building some other crap on our diplomats going towards Rome eventually to... Uh, I shall continue Grease tomorrow, the wheels sire. in the Catholic Church, so to speak. Anyway, we'll end the turn. I popped to the shops and bought a bunch of Coke. <laughs> As in the drink Coke, not, you know, Coke. <laughs> It'd be weird if they sell that in Tesco's. But, um, I got a bunch of Cokes and it's fucking vanilla. I didn't bloody notice when I bought it, but it's not bad. I didn't mind it. We'll see what the Moors do. Whether they'll attack us or they'll regroup or what. Mm, they'll do nothing, apparently. <sighs> Suit yourself. I'm going to try to reach all these like different factions and stuff that are at war with me for no good reason. And try to get peace with them. Like Norway as well, because Norway hasn't attacked us in ages. And we've beaten them every fucking chance that they got. Surely... They want peace by now. Assassin's Guild, no. The King of Hungary is dead. Factions announcements. Sweet. The other kid has come of age. Relations worse with Denmark. Relations improved with the Holy Roman Emperor. Good. Cardinal guys in Sicily. Diplomatic information. Portugal has now declared war on the Moors. Good. And Aragon has declared a truce with them. My okay, you any good? You got plus one command from that. Uh, Danish relations relatively healthy. Biological son. Honors his father. Military minded. Fertile. Adores drink. Naive. So yeah, he has a potential as well to... Uh, What is it with the English family, with the eldest sons inheriting everything, and the younger sons being the ones that their fathers like the most? I assume they do, since this guy honours his father. Yeah. I suppose it's not too bad. Uh, Aston's not a bad leader, he's just a shit commander. All these princesses aren't going to actually be of any use to me, again. 
annoying as that is. We've lost the richest faction bonus. Irritating. An honor, sire. Yes, noble sire. But you, my friend, shall uh An honor, sire. Yes, sire. Yes, noble sire. An honor, sire. I do believe I'm going to send the king back up to Paris. Letting our forces, sire. And then the two yes, brothers can lead these sire. forces. My lord. An honor, sire. Your will, sire. Yes. My lord. As you wish, sire. Hail, my king. Assembling a mighty host of your troops, sire. Hail, my king. An honor, sire. My liege. Yes, nobles, my liege. There you go. We'll move south and attack this place in the next turn, most likely. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> we'll live out, or maybe I'll forget to win it out, but there you go. If it's in the video, you're welcome. <laughs> Professionalism. Alright, we'll send these guys, I suppose we'll garrison this. Yes, and then they can move down next turn to join all the rest of them. In the next turn, retrain you up at Harold Hall. We got these guys to retrain. That's fine. I build you, however. Rainy, there's not much going on in here. That's got a bunch of building to do. We'll do most of that majority crap off camera. I built myself an abbey inside of uh, London, which is nice. Merchants Wrath I may get. London is like the giant trade capital hub of our kingdom. So we'll invest in some naval trading, so to speak. Nothing much going on. What's up in Nottingham? Can I build anything else? I can build a hospital. Good, yes. Uh, I need to build some more stuff in that place. Uh, that place is getting an abbey. Not much going on up in Scotland. Ships ready. Hmm. No, it's just likely a matter of... Uh, Rallying as many troops and pushing on the moors, I suppose. Securing those mountain passes. And I, I kind of want to build as many troops in this place as I can. Just as, so just to keep the other idiots from getting any smart ideas. <laughs> By smart, I mean stupid ideas. Like attacking me would be stupid of them. And annoying. Mainly annoying. Not, not stupid, but just Your really badly start. annoying. <laughs> Uh, we're going to send you south. You can help command. them. We can go no further today, sire. Um, sire. I could move these guys down, and then they could defend that, which is probably the best of ideas. Sire. Yeah, especially since... Yeah, I might have to linger back a bit. But I'll tell you what. If I... Orders. Go like... Yes, sire. Right there. Have I got any cavalry that I can do this with? No. Yeah. If I go right there, then the infantry will be able to reach me, and these guys will be able to reach this castle in the next turn. Your will, sire. Orders. As you wish. Your will, sire. But those guys should hold in there. The king, meanwhile, I'll likely actually swing around back down here, and he can join. We do need the third general to lead these armies. Even if the king's shit, he can still help out. As is necessary. I uh, won't recruit that there just yet. Yes. Am I recruiting any mercs in this place? In no. My king. As you command. Harold's commanding that, which is fine. Those places will hold, and hopefully they'll be too busy fighting the uh, Holy Roman Empire to do much else, really. Anyway, we will continue to impress our friendship upon the what is it, you wish? Germans. The Germans, yeah. I have five grand. 
The Kaiser will hear of your general. Our talks have been most worthwhile. Good time. We have, we have outstanding relations with the Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> Money goes a long way with the AI. It My really Lord. does go a long way. Will I be able to reach... No, I won't be able to reach those guys. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure the Papal States control that region or not. I'll see if we can get ceasefire. Why do you approach? How could you no. ask? Tell me. Uh, and suit you yourself. Sire. Without question, sire. Um, no, the genus control it. Okay, so we'll start giving some money to the papal church later. Slowly, the um Slowly the Pope is liking me a little bit more. <sighs> it takes a bit, but it's getting there. Those guys will be in range of this next turn, and that's building some more troops already, isn't it, inside there? Yes, yeah, good. Uh, I've got a cog as well, just to have forces on the border. Nothing else to do, basically. I think that's about it. Well, actually, there are some buildings that we'll do off camera, and then we'll end the turn and go see what happens. Okay, let's end the turn. Uh, before we do, there's something I noticed as well, something that we'll build in the future. I can build Notre Dame. Oh, Notre Dame, whatever the hell. Which, I'm not sure it gives me too much stuff, but it might make the Pope likes me a lot more. It's a grand, like, building and everything, so maybe. We are trying to get in the good graces of the Pope for once. Mainly just to keep the uh, Christian armies off my back. Bit of a game. Yay, the port fucking Poland has uh, laid siege to my port. Naturally. Where the f did you come from? <laughs> okay, change of plans. We're directing those forces to fuck up those more troops that disappeared out of nowhere. Norway, ask for peace. See the error of your ways. We have basically a 300 year long war, rather than with France, it's with bloody... What's that witch doing to my small unit of troops? Explorers Guild. Don't particularly care about that. The Moors and the King of Aragon have declared that they're okay. Cardinal dies. Are they actually allies, or are they puppet states? No, nope, they're actually allies to the people who have basically stolen all of their shit. That's nice of them. Why the hell they'd agree to such a thing is beyond my understanding. Hail my king, my liege. Hail my king. Yes. Orders. Sire. You will go back over to that. Yes, noble sire. As you command, my liege. An honor, sire. As you will, my king, to battle. As you command. I will not waste words on you, infidel. Can they not move this turn, maybe? Could be it. Hail my king. Um Yes, noble sire. My liege. Yes, noble sire. Yes, sire. Splitting yeah. the troops. I As can however get away with that. To one one odds. My lord. Order. And I should be able to do As that, wish, which then my brings my secondary army into the battle, in which will, case we'll completely crush we them. Shall engage. Yeah, better lose any troops. Good. Uh, we'll ransom the Moors, I suppose. I don't want to play the execute because I don't want the Duke to be a douchebag. But an honorable, glorious victory. Promising commander and aspiring commander. Relations worsen. Yeah, I don't particularly care about pissing off the uh, 
the moors too much because and fuck them. And he is already an excellent little commander. But yeah, I have no reason to release more yes, captives. <laughs> I don't particularly give a shit about them. At all. Something I forgot to do last turn, by the way. Um, was grab these gentlemen and move them over from Wessex. Yes, Disembarking, sire. Sire, our forces are well here. As you wish. Your will, sire. Those gentlemen yes, will join up with them. Ships ready. And those guys are going to that port. Joining the fleet, sire. Paris has got some pretty decent fucking yes, noble, sire. stuff right now. Uh, if we go over here, you need to be built with that. My lord. Your will, sire. An interesting development. Uh, I do believe we'll pull back the Wangus, I suppose. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll pull back and then group up the forces okay. with the king and then push that way. What we'll do is we'll leave... Are those guys just like that? Yes. Put them hidden in the trees behind them. Uh, that place will build up. The king, meanwhile, will head over and start... Yeah, moving over to this place. Yes. Where he'll lead those troops. How many generals do I have? It's just basically all the family members, isn't it? I don't have anyone else. Getting to the point where I could probably use more generals. But, thankfully... We do have him coming over... Uh, Stefan's only kid coming of age, basically. Eventually, anyway. I just need to get my future king married off to some faction. Preferably the Holy Roman Empire to continue relations with them. But I ain't particularly too picky right now. What can we do around here? Not much for them, not much for them. And these guys will group up next turn, and that'll be a giant force that we've got against the Moors. Uh, I might send a bunch of my navy off to deal with shit. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Send ten cogs off. Fleet ready, sire. Ships ready. Set sail. Ships ready. And the Admiral gets those best units that I've got. Hi, sire. Fleet ready, sire. A fine day to sail. Hi, sire. Leaving the fleet. Hi, sire. Ships ready. He gets one as well. Fleet ready, sire. Hi, sire. And you can stay there at Calais or Norway, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's, will, it's basically sir. Norway. Calais is like here, ish, in theory. And what? You've got a bunch of forces, in <coughs> haven't you? <laughs> That'll be editing out. I'll send you down the Remy's. Well, next turn you can go over to Harold Hall and garrison that properly. My lord, orders. We'll leave you inside there, since that's going to be full next turn anyway. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll go next turn. There's basically not much left to do. 
Like I said, we split off fleet in half, so those guys will head over and start beating the crap out of the moors. Just to keep the moors in check. And this fleet will stay here and deal with any uh, a Norwegian cunts that show their faces. Build another one of those there in London. All right, let's uh, let's go next turn. Yes, I think I missed anything. The My Lord, oh look, a giant army of douchebags. I wonder if the Pope will forgive me. <laughs> That's the Coke can. I am out of Coke. Okay. Hmm. Sure, I'll do that. Not that any of my princesses are near the capital. Diplomatic information. And now at war with each other. Have broken their alliance. Idiots. They were allied for like a couple of fucking turns. We are the like, financial superpower of the uh, Fleet ready, sire. of everything, basically. Set sail. We can go. Aye, sire. Joining the fleet. Fleet ready, sire. Okay, let's Orders. destroy you. I'll not destroy you, actually. I can send you over to York. The garrison that. I might just keep these guys in Nottingham since it's... Uh, or I'll send them over to York, I suppose. Just to have a full... Quite a strong army up in England defending my homeland, so to speak. Uh, I do believe we'll start building Notre Dame. It cost me 10 grand and 12 turns, but we'll get that out of the way, I suppose. God will see justice you gentlemen will need to die. You've got mailed knights, which might be a bit tricky for me to take out, but I do outnumber you considerably. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll deal with these guys quick. Oh, actually, uh, we'll go down yes, to Rome. Impossible, my liege. If only I could, sire, as you wish. Is there something I can do for you, noble lord? It seems we have reached an excellent. What else would you suggest? I would happily give you some money. You heard in this. You truly have our best. Something just as useful, I hope. I see no problem here. It is agreed. Another proposition? We shall listen, of course. I have so much money, I can I can just get away with doing this. It seems we have reasonable. reasonable. Just keep an eye on the relations. You see, <laughs> every time I give them like ten, uh, two grand, it pops up at all. I see no Admirable. other proposition. We shall listen, of course. Example of corrupt church. We cannot fix it. Keep giving them money. <laughs> of course. We Goodbye. There you go. It has been a pleasure. Relations and proof. Papal states. Very, very good. And we go to the Pope, and suddenly he's pleased with our faith. <laughs> suddenly we're in the Pope's good books. Why? Because we gave him like over 10 grand a mass or so. Which was very nice of us. 